One second, YouTube fam. Yeah, I'll do a, just a number one meal, please. For the drink, could I do a large hot caramel mocha, please? With whole milk? No high adventure until we get our coffee. So every time I come to McDonald's, I always get a hot caramel mocha with whole milk. Half the time, it's fantastic. The other half the time, it's like somebody just made a regular cup of coffee and like put a little milk and like a little pump of caramel and a little pump of chocolate in and just like didn't stir it and like taste this weird, nasty mix. Good Is morning. Meal with the caramel mocha? Yes, a number one meal with the caramel number mocha. One? Yeah, number one meal with the caramel mocha. Okay, thank you. I said number one. Thank you. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's really good. That'll get our day kicked off. Woo! Thank, thank you. you. Tell whoever made the mocha they did a great job. Thank you. What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. It is early o'clock in the morning. In fact, there's not even a crack of light in the sky. I'm heading to one of my all-time favorite spots. We're gonna hopefully be catching some piggy sturgeon and some piggy trout. Hopefully one of each. Let's get driving and I'll just catch you guys down there. All right, we are here, finally made it. When you can see your breath, you know it's cold. Look at that gorgeous water though. The mist rising up off of it. Oh, just delicious. All right, we've got our kayak all loaded up. This is the 2020 Mirage Outback out of the Hobie line of kayaks. I love it. It is fantastical. All right, we are life jacketed up. Let's do this, peeps. I'm psyched. I haven't been down here in many months. Let's drop the pedal drive down. All right, and we're off. Let's do this. All right, there is our spillway. Now check this out. The water's so low, I actually whoop, have my waders on and uh, I just beached the kayak, tied it off. I'm gonna just stand like right here. And we're just gonna pitch into that fast moving water and that way I don't have to like sit in my kayak. This might actually work out really nice. I've never been able to do this before. Let me show you what we're using. I have a simple little drop shop set up and what I'm gonna be pitching, and I've had really good luck on this recently, actually on several places, are these little gulp pearl silver, blah, 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 pearl silver minnows. So we're gonna get one of these out. I think they're three, yep, three inches long, just like that. And just like that, got the little minnow on. He's gonna be sitting up about a foot off the bottom. And what I'm hoping is, those trout are gonna be pointed right into that spillway, swimming against the current, waiting for stuff to come out of that spillway. So we're just gonna take this, pitch it right up at the headwaters, and just kind of jig it. I'm gonna just let that minnow flutter around down there in the current. See if we get anything. Got him. Got him. Just lift it up and he was on. Oh yeah. Guys, just let it float around down there. I literally just picked it up and he was on. Yeah, she gave me a good fight here. Let's grab our net here. See if we can get this bad boy in. I don't know if it's a record beater, but I think it feels like, it feels pretty weighty. And I've got a medium heavy rod, or medium light, medium heavy, I don't, well, let me see. Now I got a medium heavy, and she's, she's pounding her head pretty good. No, no, not up there. I know there's a branch up there. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, here we go. 
That's not a bad trout at all. Actually, this almost looks like a steelhead. Look at this. Check out this. This is a really dark fish. Come on. Come here. Yes, look at that. That's a really pretty trout. Awesome, guys. That is a good way to start. Hook pops out. Got it right in the bottom of the tongue. Look at that. I'll bet that goes about two pounds, but it's a really pretty looking rainbow. Whoa, 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 okay, there we go. Let's get her on a stringer. That's an awesome way to start the day. I'll show you guys how I did this stringer. You can pop them right in the bottom of the lip there. I don't know if you can kind of see that. You don't need to go through the gill area. Pop it right through there, we'll tie this off. That is gonna be great. But let's see if there are any bigger ones in here. Let's see if we can get a trophy size. Look at that, she's just gonna swim against the current right there. She's doing just fine. This fish, this fish has been in this river for a long time. Those are really dark colors. She's got all her fins. No fins are clipped off. They've been in this river a long time. That's awesome. Let's do this. Here we go, back in. So down there in this fast moving water, this minnow's gonna look helpless. So what those trout are gonna do, as it's just sitting down there, basically just like doing this, those trout are just gonna come over and they're just gonna nip it up. They're just gonna kinda just like that. And that's what I'm waiting to feel. I'm waiting to feel that thump. And then you can almost, if you maintain good tension on your line, you can feel them eat it. It'll just be like a bu -bu 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 And that's them down there literally just chomp, 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 just chomping on it. And that's what I'm waiting to feel. I'm feeling rocks and stuff. It'll be bumping along the bottom and it'll be like boom, boom, boom. But I'm waiting for that bu -bu 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 with sound effects and everything. Right on the other side. Try that. There's a bite. Got him. Nice. Right on the other side, way over there. Not This one doesn't feel as big. We still got a trout on. Oh yeah, he's not bad. I just watched my line. I kept my rod tip up so it would stay over stay over the spillway and my line I just saw start to just start bouncing around that was pretty cool come on baby what do we got here yeah we got another pretty looking trout look at this that's another keeper yeah woohoo sweet this is a fat one pretty colors this time of year now see that one's fin is clipped so that one's come out of the hatchery at some point. But nobody. Oh. Whoa, my gosh, I got a big old fish. Whoa. I might have hooked a carp. We might have hooked a carp. If this is a trout, this is a pig trout. I just started reeling it in. I, I think we might have accidentally hooked a carp. I'm thinking that's what this is. Because I started I started to reel it in. Yeah, I see it on the surface over there. Yeah, we snagged a carp. Probably right in the tail. This is gonna be fun to get in. At least he's not fighting very much. Come this way. It almost looks like it might be like a big old pike minnow. I think this might be a big old pike minnow, actually. The way, because he's not fighting very much. I think this pike minnow came up, he probably swiped, he probably swiped at it, missed it. Ah, uh, get across here, come on. And, uh, and pike minnows are notorious for not fighting very good. They'll smash your bait and then they just give up. And that's what this guy's doing. If this were a carp, he'd be running down river like crazy. 
I think so. Yeah, pike minnow. I've been known to pull some pike minnows out of here. We'll get rid of this guy. So you always want to kill these because these guys, these guys get into the rivers and they'll eat all the uh, game fish babies. All the eggs, all the little ones. Look at this. Nuts. Now come here. Man, somehow I just hooked him right. There you go. Look at that. That's probably about two pounds. Oh, I thought we might have hooked into a big old trout. I was hoping it'd be the one we were looking for. Check it. I mean, just buried it, that hook right in the side of him. Bet money he swiped at that as I was reeling it in. And, uh, and then just totally missed it. And then I just hooked him in the side. Big old pike minnow, but we don't want him. Whoa, look, an eagle. It's an eagle. Guys, that means it's going to be an epic day. A bald eagle. Oh, there was a bite too. Right as the bald eagle is flying by. America. It doesn't get any more American than that right there. I feel like there should have been some fireworks going off in the background or something. I don't have a ton of time left because I got to get back and prep that trout. Let's try a few casts here with the jerk bait. See if the trout are a little more aggressive. Maybe they want something moving. Oh, I just had a trout follow it up. Just had a trout following it up. There's one. Oh yeah, smashed it. Whoa, yeah, now we're, oh yeah, that's a trout. That's a trout. Just smash that jerk bait. It's about the fifth cast. Woo, hoo, hoo. all right. I think this is a decent sized trout too. It feels pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, heck yeah. Woo, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Look at that. That's about the fifth cast. Just smash it. I had one follow it up about the third cast. And she just, yeah, that's not a bad trout. Oh, nice, not a bad trout at all. Let's get our net here. See if we can get her in. There we go. Kind of got her on the side of the face a little bit there. Come here. Come here. Another nice fish. Another nice, nice fish. Come on, come on. Let's do it right here. Yeah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Wow, plenty of fight. They used to go around nice. Oh, my pliers were in there, oops. Glad we didn't lose those. Sweet guys, look at this. These trout are just bulls because they spend their whole day hanging out in these waters, fighting this water. So they've got some strength to them. Look at that, wanted something a little bit more aggressive. Wanted that jerk bait. That's another 14, 15 inch, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, almost lost her. Anyway, that's probably about 15 inches, I'd say. Close to 16, let's get it on the stringer. That is looking awesome right there. I am psyched. Let's give him a few more casts with that jerk bait. Make sure we're not leaving anything else down there. Now let's get back and prep some fish and do a little sturgeon fishing. Well, there's another one. Oh, I have another one following it. Guys, oh, he's right down here. I don't think, oh, guys, there's these trout, they're, they want it on the move. That was another decent looking trout. No record breaker, but there might be a record breaker down there. Let's get it back down there. We're gonna pop another one here. We're gonna definitely pop another one. I can almost guarantee it. There he is, right there, right there, right there. Yeah. Not a pig, but they just want that jerk bait. Look at this. Woohoo. That's going to be another 15, 16 inchers. All right, maybe a little smaller. This one's probably about 14. Look at that. All right. What did I tell you guys? I knew we were gonna get another one. I don't need more. I've got two nice ones. We're just gonna unhook this guy right here. 
but he ate it good. Just smashed it. There you go. Swim free. I think he swam free. Oh, he's right down here. Hey, hey, this way. He's all discombobulated. There you go. Where'd you go? There we go. There he goes. Whoo! <laughs> that is a fun fight, especially with those the water, that raging water. There's one, right down there, right in the headwaters. Oh, we might have our piggy right here. We might have our piggy right here. This might be the fish we're after. Cast it right on the other side of that and just thumped it. I mean, right under that waterfall. Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Oh, guys, yeah, this is our piggy. This is a pancake trout. Oh, this is a pancaker. Okay, first off, we're gonna tighten that up. Oh yeah, she was hanging down there. She was waiting. Oh yes, sir. All right, now we just gotta get her in. And that's gonna be a tall task because she, I guarantee you, ain't gonna give up easily. Let's get our net tied on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a tank. We got a tank on. Just hanging right below that waterfall. She just slammed it. I think I got that reaction strike. I was just jerking it, cast it on the other side of that, just jerked it, jerked it, and then just bam. I mean, she just just smashed it right under that waterfall. Probably is facing up in the waterfall, waiting for stuff to come out. That jerkbait flashes by and just boom, just smokes it. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yep, she's got, holy cow, she just ran all the way up. She took like a 20 yard run. This is, about, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Hopefully those treble hooks done their job. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, she's not coming in yet. She's heading right up for those headwaters again. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's she came up to the surface. That's a good sign. Come on this way. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh yeah, <laughs> come on. Oh man, she just keeps running back up there. Look at that, look at that. This is just, it's like I've hooked one of these carp. That's what it feels like. Oh yeah. This way, this way, this way, this way, come on. Oh yeah, oh boy. Nope, she's not done. That's okay. That is okay. Come on this way. Yeah, run up river, run this way. She does not want to get out of that current. Look at this. This is a pig, a piggly wiggly. Look at, this is just a, such a strong fish. Such a strong fish. She just keeps running right up into that waterfall. Guys, we've been fighting this fish for about six or seven minutes now. This way, this way, this way. Come on. No, no, no. She, she's trying to take a run back down into that hole. There we go. No, up this way. Up this way. Oh, I don't know if she's hooked very well or not. Oh, come on. Oh, this could be tough. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, man. She just, she's got her home down there and she doesn't want to leave it. Come on, baby! No, 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 do not do that. Yeah, come up this way. Come on. Come on, yes! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, shoot, no, no! Ah! Yes! Oh, my word! Oh, I got her. I got her pinned against me. Come on, baby. Into the boat with you. The hooks got caught in the net and then she fell out of the net. Yeah, look at that fish. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. I couldn't fit it. Look at how big my net is. Look, there's no way she was going to fit. She slid in to the net. Then 
my, you see this? This all got tangled up in the net and I thought if she starts to thrash around, she's just gonna pop right off. Oh, so I just scooped her up. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Whoa. This might be a record right here. <laughs> Look at that fish right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. That is absolutely an incredible fish. That is sweet. That is really sweet. All right, time to find out what we have. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 6.55 pounds. That's easily my new record. Easily. I think my last one was right, like right over six. Oh man. 6.55. Definitely a record. Woo! The Snake River, man. You never know what you're going to pull out of it. Literally, probably millions of trout in this river. Oh, and that's the biggest one I've ever caught. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to keep that piggy. Because I'm almost guarantee you that there is fantastic meat in that fish. And I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to let these other two trout go. Let them get bigger. Let them live to see another day. It's your guys' lucky day. It is your lucky day. There you go. Go free. We popped them in the bottom of the lip. That's just, that's still a really pretty trout right there. That is amazing. Popped them in the bottom of the lip so we didn't get any of that gill area. You are a very lucky trout because you were just a few minutes away from getting smoked, my man. There you go. Get bigger. But this one, oh, we're getting, we're getting trout steaks off of this one right here. Here we go. Oh my word. Holy cow. <laughs> what a fish. What a fish. Guys, we did it. We did it. Man. <laughs> New personal best. We caught that piggy trout that I was hoping we'd get. Let's get back. Let's get this trout prepped for the smoker. And then let's get a sturgeon line out. And maybe, maybe we will get a big sturgeon to add to the day too. Can't keep the sturgeon, but uh, we got a nice sized trout on anyway. Oh, man, pumped, pumped. Okay, we have bled the trout out, which I've had a lot of people calling for me to do, especially with the bigger ones. So we've bled our trout out. Now, obviously, here's our cutting board. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> Anyhow, nah, it'll be all right. We are going to see what kind of meat we're looking at here today. And I think we're just we're gonna do eat one side and save the other. Oh man, I guarantee you this meat. Oh, this meat is looking delish. All right, the big reveal. Oh, <laughs> guys, that's a steak. It's a steak. It's a bloody steak. I gotta say, from the time I started my YouTube channel to now. My filleting skills have gotten way better. I used to be really poor at filleting just because I didn't do it enough. But we're getting there. There we go. There are all the ribs right there. You know what? We're going to just toss those right over there. Some mink or muskrat will be really happy with me. Boom. Boom to the shakalaka right there. Look at that. Look at that. Now what I am going to do, because I want to throw a sturgeon line out. There's a lot of fat, it looks like, right down here. I'm thinking this is gonna be some sturgeon bait right down here. So we're gonna just take a nice slice off. And that's just one side, look at that. Just one side. I, I think I'm literally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter this up. So we're gonna do like this right here. Sweet, look at that. Look at that, are you kidding me? Oh man, fresh right out of the river. This dude, this size, he's been in this river for years and years and, oh, I'm losing my meat here. Hold up. It took me nine minutes to get this fish in and now I'm gonna eat fresh, fresh trout right out of the river. What a blessing. Alrighty, I've got my plate of fresh trout. Now, I have got the box of spices here. Let's dig into it and see what we got here. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a couple of these pieces right here. 
And I think we're gonna do something kind of just standard. Coat it with a little lemon pepper. I think I'm also gonna do a little dill weed on these guys. Now the fun thing about smoking is you can just like almost do just about anything. Maybe not anything, but there are so many combinations and variations that you really can kind of just make it up as you go. And that's kind of what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna throw a little crack, extra cracked pepper on there. Fresh, fresh pepper. I also want some salt. A little salt on there as well. And then, you know what? I'm gonna rub a little brown sugar into each one. We are going to put these in our Ziploc bag like so. Keep them cool, which is easy when it's only like 30 degrees outside. Put those in there and we're gonna let those soak up those seasonings for probably about an hour, at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how much sunlight I have. There we go, there's our first set. Now for the second set here, we're gonna get a little crazy. On this one, I'm gonna do our Johnny Seafood Seasoning. I love this stuff. Thank you, subscriber. I forgot your name, I apologize. Hit me up in the comments below. I'll give you a like and a thumbs up and a heart and whatever I can do on YouTube there. Really appreciate you sending me this. I love this. It's it's just muy fantastico. I don't even think that was the proper way to say it, but whatever. Add a little parsley flick. There we go. Add a little garlic too. Now we just slowly massage the meat. You know what, actually, what I am going to do with this one, I'll add a little brown sugar to this one too. Just, just a dabble. That looks solid, I guess. This looks fantastic to me anyway. Now on this one over here, I'm going to do buffalo wild wing salt and vinegar. Just for funsies. Like a salt and vinegar trout. Number one, I love their salt and vinegar seasoning. Um, and I've had salt and vinegar on trout and it's delicious. And a smoked though, salt and vinegar smoked, that sounds quite tantalizing. We've got a second Ziploc bag. We're gonna put this one by himself in here. Let him ruminate. No wet rubs today. Maybe I'll do a wet rub the next time I come back down here. Somebody hit me up with some wet rub recipes. Sounds quite good. We'll keep this one by himself as well. Everybody's separated so all the flavors are different. We'll keep everything nice and cool. We've got trout for the smoker. So the other thing we are currently doing is I have smokehouse applewood chips. These I've got sitting in water and those are going to soak. We're going to let those soak for at least, you know, well, probably an hour at this point before we put our first fish on. That way they get nice and wet and they don't just burn up. What I'm going to be smoking everything on is my Vida Libre camping stove here. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want one. I've used this guy in several videos and I love it but I'm gonna have the little gas burner going on on low. We're gonna have our wet applewood chips uh, toasting up, creating our smoke in there. And we're just gonna throw the trout right on that. The one thing about using a smaller stove is I'm a little worried it'll become a little bit more like just baked instead of smoked, just because um, it's it, the area in there is smaller and it's gonna kind of make like an oven more. So it might not have the time to really collect the smoke. I don't know, we're gonna find out, but either way, these trout are gonna have a nice smoky flavor at the very least to them, so I'm pretty excited. In the meantime though, let's get our sturgeon rod hooked up and let's get out there, see if we can plug a porker of a sturgeon out of this river since we've already gotten our trout. All right guys, we have our sturgeon set up, barbless hook, some fresh trout belly with a lot of fat on it right off of that trout we just caught. Let's see what we can do. Now we watch and we wait. Someone left some wood down here. So I think I'm gonna get me a fire going. It's sunny out right now, but it is still cold. It's like 35 degrees, so. Use some brush here for starters. Oh, those are stickery, stickery. Burn some trash down here while we're at it. Let's see if this will do it. flame I just gotta feed it nothing like a fire while you're sturgeon fishing I would also say fires are great while cat fishing too heck fires in general are awesome especially when it's cold out I think we got it going on now sweet 
That's gonna be nice. It's gonna get chilly fast when it's only 35 for a high. Guys, we just got our first bite. Bent a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Something probably just popped it. There are other people sturgeon fishing. There's some folks out on that point, some folks across the river. I haven't seen anybody get anything, so. There's a little thump, there's a little thump. Let's pick this bad boy up. Sturgeon don't have teeth, so they crush their food. So what they do is, I've seen them on the bottom when they eat stuff, they just like, they'll suck it up and then they'll spit it out, suck it up and spit it out. And what they're doing is they're like, they're like trying to break it down. And so what you're trying to do is get them right when they're sucking it up. Keep an eye on it. She nibbled about three times but never really fully took the bait. Set it back down, tighten this line up. All right, since our sturgeon are being finicky, we are going to go ahead and get our smoker ready. Now I've got a double layer of aluminum foil, or you can get heavy duty foil. I just didn't have heavy duty foil. We're gonna take about two cups of this, allegedly, that's what I've been told, and just place that right in there. That water's actually starting to freeze, that's crazy. We're gonna wrap that up like so. Got that all folded up. Now what I'm gonna do, so the smoke actually escapes, is we're gonna pop some holes in it. All right, so we've got the flame going, as you can see down there. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit lower because I don't need it burning too hot. Now we're gonna take our wood chips. Whoa, hold up there. Got a little bit of flame coming out here. Let's turn it down a little more. There we go. Now we're gonna take our wood chips and set them right over there, just like that. Remember, we got our holes in the top so the smoke will start to escape as those begin to smolder. Now, take our grill grate, put it right over top. We've got this fancy little uh, smoker grate. That's supposed to help the food not stick to the grate. And then we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Now we just watch our smoke stack here and we look for smoke. And then once the smoke starts billowing out of there, we'll be ready to throw that fish on. Okay, we've got smoke actually coming out from underneath the lid. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So we're gonna set that off there. Here's my first set of fillets. So what I did is I rinsed these off actually. Uh, and so I got most of the spices off. They've been sitting for about an hour and a half in the spices. And then uh, I let them cool for about 20 minutes. So we're just gonna set those there just like that. I'm gonna grab our lid, place it back on. Still got ample amount of smoke coming out there. So we're gonna let those smoke for a while. All right, let's take a look. It's been about 20 minutes. Oh yeah. Look at that. Almost got like a little glaze on the top of those fish, it looks like. Ooh, that skin's pretty charred. Guys, I'm gonna say those are done. Like I said, they've been on for about 20, 25 minutes. Let's pull them off and let's give it a taste. All right, check that out. Look at that. Smoked trout, or at least smoky flavor trout. Let's peel some off. Oh yeah, got a nice pink on the inside. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is delicious. Oh, look at that. I got skin on there. It's like crispy. Look at that trout skin right there. Just crispy. I'm literally crunching it in my mouth. This basically is just giving it like a smoked flavor. This is totally different than frying. A totally different texture, flavors. And I would say it's way better. Way better. Still keeping an eye on our sturgeon rod. No bites recently though. That is incredible. That's some of the best trout I have ever eaten. Mm. I gotta smoke more fish, man. This is not this is out of this world. Okay, so we've gone ahead and thrown the salt and vinegar one on, and I've already forgotten what I put on this one. Now, I didn't rinse this one off. We're gonna leave it, and we're gonna smoke these at least two to three times longer than the first batch, like at least an hour. I did rinse the salt and vinegar off, though. I didn't want that to get too strong, so. On goes the lid. I also put, um, but under the, under the uh, fish, I put a fresh batch of wet wood on there. That way it doesn't burn up. Okay, quick update. I'm smoking my fish, which is delicious by the way. 
and we're fishing. I just had a guy roll up behind me. I'd be able to see his truck through my window back there. Um, he rolls up and he drops out and he's got like three rods with him. And he starts like making small conversation like immediately. He's like, I've got wood for that fire. And I'm like, it's okay, I've got my own wood. Anyway, he starts to hit like, he's gonna fish like right next to me. And I'm going, mm, you've got down that way, you've got over that way. You know, I've been here for hours. You just rolled up, like, I don't think so. I've chatted with him a little bit, just on and off. Well, the dude, I think, is, like, half soused, if you know what I'm saying, like... Anywho, I go down to grab my boat, and I bring it up to load it up so I'm not loading in the dark. And he's moved down. There's a ledge right behind me. So my rod's off the top of the ledge, where there's a, probably about a seven, eight-foot drop. He's literally almost right below me. Now, my line's out that way. He casts both his lines out that way. And I'm not sure what to do. If I were catching sturgeon, I would say, hey, man, not cool. Because this guy's probably like upper 40s, maybe early 50s, probably early 50s. He's half drunk, and I really don't want an altercation. Like, I don't know, do you guys want to see me fight a half drunk guy on my YouTube video? I mean, maybe. Comment below. Do you want to see me fight a half drunk guy? Because that's probably what will happen. Now, if we start hitting sturgeon, on, if there's an evening bite, and he starts catching fish, because if anybody who's sturgeon fish, the f fish will run up and down the river. I'm gonna have to pull my lines in if he hooks into a fish. So I'm definitely gonna ask him to move if he hooks a fish. I'm gonna be like, sir, you've got a big long stretch of bank here. You've literally parked like 10 feet from me. Folks, there is such a thing as fishing etiquette. You do not park yourself 10 feet, literally 10 feet from somebody else who's fishing, who is even there before you. Like there is a great, long glorious bank here in fact there's a spot right there and it's perfect it's about 50 yards from my rod and reel so if you get a fish you can fight it down there if it ends up running up that way no problem i don't mind moving but literally 10 feet from me fishing etiquette fishing etiquette 101 and this guy should know better this guy's like in his 50s i guarantee this guy's been fishing for 30 plus years he ought to know better but i'm thinking that's what alcohol does to you Plus, I think he probably saw my fire and the smoked fish and was like, hey, maybe I'll get a free meal, but that's not happening. Anyway, we'll see if anything comes of this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, these have been on for like an hour and a holy monkeys. Like an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know. That looks a little well done. Don't know if that's what smoked fish is supposed to look like. I mean, it looks okay. Definitely has a little char around the edges, but I guess we'll find out. You know, we're gonna start with the salt and vinegar one first. There's the inside of the meat right there. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. Bottoms up. I think bottoms up is for when you're having a drink. There's definitely a lot more smoky skin. To be 100% honest, it probably should have sat in that brine for at least another hour or so. I'm getting very subtle hints of the salt and vinegar, but it's not like salty, vinegary, bam, bam. But I guess now that I think about it, it might be a good thing. I'm gonna have to try and smoke these for a really long time, like six hours, eight hours. I gotta give it a try because mm, this is delicious like this, but almost like making a fish jerky. Time for this guy right here. Now this guy definitely got charred. Like that skin, the skin's black. So, all right, here we go. This, I've just remembered, had that Johnny Seafood seasoning on it. Get rid of that little pinion bone here. All right, here we go. Definitely not rinsing all the seasoning off. I mean, it's, that's smacking me in the face right now. <laughs> that seasoning, though, is so good. Oh, man. With not rinsing the brine off, this one's definitely a lot drier, it seems like. That dry brine is actually formed like a skin, even though there isn't one. Oh, that's so good. You guys have to give this a try. You probably already do. I wanna know too, like, 
if you guys have any tips or tricks for me for smoking because i want to make a few more of these type of videos i definitely want to smoke more fish and i would love to hear any input that you guys have i did some research online and obviously i mean it almost seems like sky's the limit when it comes to smoking but if you have any particular recipes comment below i'd love to read through them and if i see one i particularly like or sounds particularly delicious i'll definitely give it a try oh all right guys wrapping it up weren't able to get any sturgeon had like half a dozen little like boom 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 but nothing committed sometimes sturgeon fishing is just like that i didn't see anybody else catch any sturgeon even the half drunk guy that is uh sitting right next to me and actually made a fire almost right beneath my pole um i don't know but no sturgeon uh we didn't have to fight the half drunk guy which would have probably made for a lot more interesting video for sure a little drama uh but at, at the end of the day it's probably a good thing uh that we didn't have to fight it anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and as always i will see you in the next